Seven years ago, six years ago, you could not buy anything from New Zealand at this kind of price. But the world caught up, Chile, South Africa, and forced New Zealand to drop its prices. Believe it or not, one of these wines Oops. was called Kike. Yeah. So I prepared a little bit of food oh. to enjoy it with Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for our little feast. It looks spectacular. Yeah? Yeah. So what do we have? This one is red snapper, okay. yellowtail, salmon, and tuna, the belly part, and then halibut. Well, okay. Wow. And then uh, lemon. Awesome. Thanks, Jay. Oh. Welcome. What a service with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that easier, me bringing it up higher? It's all right. Horseradish, then lemon. And what's interesting, you know, even though we tend to think of sushi or sashimi being served with sparkling wine or white wine, mm -hmm. as we've had many times sitting together with Jay, red fleshed fish, tuna or salmon can go pretty well with unoaked Pinot Noir or even an unoaked Sangiovese. It sounds like you're complaining that we only have a white wine. No, no, I'm just, I'm just making conversation for the subscribers to whet their appetites. <laughs> right. right. It's also, who would have thought that it would make... Um, <laughs> just, because just, to, just because Patrick's complaining. Yeah, exactly. I'm not complaining. I was making an observation. I wasn't trying to... Uh, goose you. Okay. This is Pinot. Is it? It's rich. It's rich? Mm -hmm. A little bit oaked. Moderately oaked. With some new oak. It's delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. It's balanced. I usually love to have this kind of Pinot with tuna and salmon and yellowtail. It's a very modern style wine, but I think it's coming from Burgundy. I think it's Burgundy. The nose is beautiful. Where is it from? Can I unveil it? Please, per favore. And it's better than a Bourgogne Rouge. This is really good wine. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Mercure. Mercure? Yeah. Mm. It's uh, a damn nice Mercure. Yeah. Vie Vigne 18. Yeah, 18. It's just village wine. Yeah. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Good. It's very, very good. Usually, and you know, know, very often Mercure is heavy. Yeah. Mm. Tannic. This is beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they've been saying that 18 is a great vintage. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. I'll drink that. <laughs> Cloudy Bay with the white fish is damn delicious. Yeah? Yeah. Our viewers are saying bad things about me because they think I'm treating you badly. They, they are right. <laughs> <laughs> and even this beautiful feast that we're having now with great wine <laughs> is only like 1%. Apology. You owe 99 store for treating us so badly. At least 1% off. <laughs> That's right. You're 1% out the hole. <laughs> right. For the record, I think you treat us very well. <laughs> Thank you. For the record, I think you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned how to copy on my iPad and then paste into Google Translate. So I've been reading some oh, yeah. of the comments in Korean. I've been reading the ones in, in English as well. Of insightful things people say. There's some commonality, things that they say. Patrick's so much better looking than Peter. And <laughs> <laughs> no, they do. They, 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 all the ones I've seen say that. Patrick's better looking than you, but you're way sexier. <laughs> <laughs> Guess which I'd rather be. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have seen any of this kind of comment. You don't but speak Korean like we do. <laughs> you don't have Google Translate. Awesome, Jay. Fantastic. You like it? Mm. Mm. Oh. Wines are pretty similar one another, so I wanted to enjoy it with food. Mm -hmm. My favorite Sauvignon Blancs from Chile come from Leda. Mm. And they can be stunning wines. They're not easy to find, but they can be stunning wines. This last one to me is especially good with the fish. Yeah. The last Sauvignon. Yeah. 
Well, although I just had the um, the tuna and it's like melts in your mouth that tuna. So oh my god! Nothing, nothing would go badly with it. Mm. I really enjoy this yellow tail with uh, mac mm -hmm. I'll try it now. The yellow tail and the you know the, these things are so good they don't even need the soy sauces. Oh, I've been reading online on how to ferment your own kimchi. I'm going to make my own kimchi. <laughs> And Jay was around. I said, why don't you give him some? I can't give Jay kimchi. <laughs> because I don't eat kimchi. You don't eat kimchi? <laughs> of course not. I don't eat kimchi. I don't eat garlic. Right. <laughs> so I don't eat rice. <laughs> Can we do a tasting of my kimchi? Of course. It scares me a little bit. but <laughs> Did you put fish sauce in it? I haven't done anything. No, I've, I've been done. just looking at recipes. I'm gonna make some kimchi and then we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how my kimchi flies. <laughs> Just in the last two months, I've done a corned beef, the way my mother used to do it. So you actually- Would you mind passing the cloudy bay? Uh, you pickled- Cloudy bay. You pickled your brisket, stuck it in the fridge with saltpeter for the, the meat goes pink. And then two weeks later, I did it with a tongue. And in those days, the same thing, you know, who wanted a tongue? So you walked around, how long was your tongue pink? <laughs> you walk around, who wanted a tongue? A tongue was gross, right? Yeah. Now a tongue is so expensive, you've got to specially order it. So, what is your favorite wine with the fish? The... Mercure. Mercure. Mm -hmm. With the tuna. And for white fish? I think the white fish, the white wine goes best, and I like the slightly wooded Chilean one. Okay, and how about you? Uh, for me, this Cloudy Bay sings. It's seamless, it's smooth, it dances in my mouth. It's wonderful. Uh huh. Though I do love the combination of the tuna more so than the salmon. The salmon I've enjoyed both with the Pinot Noir and the uh, Cloudy Bay. Mm -hmm. And you? The fatter ones, like yellowtail, salmon, and tuna. I enjoyed it with a Pinot Noir and white fish with cloudy bay and Kim Crawford. Mm -hmm. There is no main dish. <laughs> <laughs> there are one or two minor things that we could pick out as to what limited a wine's quality. But we liked all the wines. We could drink all the wines. All the wines made us happy. So you have to make a promise. Mm -hmm. Those last two wines that we were served in We'll never see them again. <laughs> Freak Show and Meow Me. Never again. <laughs> never. Do you agree? <laughs> you know, not, not really. I mean, uh, in terms of actually wanting to drink them, absolutely. In terms of the people needing to learn those lessons twice, I don't think so. But in terms of me every now and again tasting those wines just to see how bad they are or whether they've made, made any progress, it's okay. But no. I mean, I'm nearly with Patrick, just not as solid. So when we do this kind of tasting all together, we won't see them again. Won't see them yet, no. And when I taste with you, you won't see them ever again. Thank you. <laughs> when I taste with Peter, we rarely see them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the message is sent out enough. So what's interesting is that many of the viewers doing my a Korean translate, are now intrigued to taste the wine that we really disliked. Yeah, exactly. To learn. <laughs> <laughs> they really want to buy Miami. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> the idea is that we suffer so that they don't have to. Not inspiring them to suffer too. But they really want to learn what uh, bad wines are. Yeah, it's a very important thing. Mm -hmm to learn what great wines are, which is harder because they're more expensive. And often when they're young, they don't taste all that great. Wine is an acquired taste. Mm -hmm. You can't get into wine on day one. Mm -hmm. Very, very few people can. It's just over time, you develop an understanding and a feeling and a desire. Day for, one? For real wine. We try and show the people what good wine should be. We need to be careful that people that we reinforce from time to time that just because we don't like it, we should not tell them that they're wrong if they like something that's yeah. really shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. are, are all of our tastes different. 
Yeah. They are understanding the concept now. Between us, a hundred years of experience of tasting great wine. That is hard to translate to people mm -hmm. who couldn't spell wine last week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or corollary to what you just said, one trillion flies can't be wrong because they enjoy eating shit. <laughs> <laughs> and on that basis, I think you can pour me a drop more of Pinot Noir, s'il te plaît. Okay, you like it? No. <laughs> he loves so. it. You love it. <laughs> it's the best Pinot Noir I've had today, okay? <laughs> right. It's a sad day with no Pinot. I'm still grooving on the on the Claudia Bay. Claudia Bay is one of my favorite ones. If you include this, a shout out to my cousin in Scotland, Elizabeth McLaren. This is her favorite wine. Here's to you, Elizabeth. Here's to Elizabeth McLaren. <laughs> Get a life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Peter, Peter, your camera is there. <laughs> Get a life. <laughs> She's delightful. And I'm sure she is, notwithstanding her cousin. El Elizabeth McLaren. 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 Elizabeth McLaren, please uh, subscribe <laughs> and leave a like. <laughs> <laughs> 이럴 땐이 와인 네이버밴드로 놀러 오시면 와인을 잘 몰라도 편하고 싸게 사실 수 있도록 제가 많이 도와드립니다. 다들 만족하시고 좋아하시더라고요.